Well, in just under a month, the moving wall will be coming to the area, visiting Tioga, Pennsylvania. In preparation for its return, we are sharing the stories of local Vietnam veterans over the next four weeks in the limited return of our series, Vietnam Reflections. This morning, we hear from Vietnam veteran Paul Furman, who served in the U.S. Air Force as an autopilot technician. Well, I joined the Air Force because I was going to probably get drafted because the Vietnam War was started already and I thought, uh, might as well, if I'm going into the military, I might as well make it worth my while and so I got some, went to, I signed up for autopilot school, which is a lot of electronics training. After I went to tech school, I, w I was an uh, autopilot technician we would uh, troubleshoot the aircraft um, and we would diagnose what the problem was and then we would replace, everything was called a black box. You replace the black box in the, in, on the airplane and then you brought the, back, the black boxes back to the shop. And then if you could, you repaired them and they got them, <clears throat> you had them ready to go for another aircraft. So, but I worked on a, C-130s, that's a cargo airplane. I worked on F-4s, which are fighter aircraft, and I also worked on the C-141s. When I was <clears throat> in Japan, we had the airplanes, the, the, the trips were called yo-yos because they would come from McGuire Air Force Base in New Jersey, Dover Air Force Base, Delaware, and uh, McCord Air Force Base in Washington State, and they would bring supplies over to Japan and then we would either repair the planes or they would refuel them and they would fly to uh, Vietnam and they would unload the, the supplies and they would pick up um, wounded and they would also bring back uh, the coffins. I mean, it was like 50, 100 at a time. Every time you saw those, the wounded and the caskets, you really had second thoughts and thought, you know, it's like I was lucky I was not in the Army or the Marines and getting shot at, you know. So I, so, but it was really paused to think about how lucky I was just being in the Air Force. So, uh, being in the military is kind of tough, but um, it's still better than getting your name on the wall. That's a really hard one, and, and every time I see the wall, uh, uh, it's emotional experience. The moving wall, which is what this is for, <clears throat> is um, it's a moving wall because they pack it up and move it from one place to another, but it's also a very emotional experience because, you know, each one of those names on there is a person. All gave some, some gave all. And I think that about sets up the whole thing.